Hey guys and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Uh, this time we have three, well we're going to do it in the one video because uh, it sounds like a lot of effort to just put out three. Anyway, three different gameplay videos for Half of Alex, which if you didn't know, I'm very excited for. Love VR. Boneworks blew my mind and from what I've seen from just a small amount of reveal that they did prior to these, it had a lot of physics-based sort of uh, situations like Boneworks. So uh, if they can combine the Half-Life world story with the cool complex systems that Boneworks did, I am really keen. So why not, without further ado, we jump in and check out what video one that has in store for us. Okay, creepy train. Yep, head crabs, wonderful. That is not something I'm looking forward to. Here we go. We're almost there. Cool. Opening doors confirmed. Um If they have a Ooh, yeah. Oh no. Mmm. If they have an escape from Rovenholm 2.0, I don't know how I'm going to cope with that, honestly. Oh, okay. I never really wanted to see a HD head crab, but now I have. Thanks. What is he doing? Is he drunk? Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's pretty awesome. That was one thing I didn't like about Boneworks, was how fiddly it was removing planks, but that seemed to be a lot easier. Oh, what the hell is that? Whoa! Okay. Cool. It looks like he might be able to sneak past them, so that's alright. Oh, yeah. Get rid of that. They're showing off the physics, which I like. Oh, okay. Cool. So there's an upgrade system. That's cool. I like that. Okay, awesome. They've sold me. You can wear hats. That's uh, mm. just combining all the best VR games at the moment. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, what is that? So is that how you upgrade them? I like that... You have to actually search for equip- That's cool. And I really love that they're embracing the whole physics aspect of everything. Russell, <laughs> that's awesome. The combine use these. Are they safe for people? Uh, yeah, I use them all the time. Are you sure? Oh. Yeah, they're great. I'm loving it. I am genuinely loving this so much already. You are right. These are great. I like it. Yeah, it's a bit weird that the hat sort of clips in every now and then. I guess it makes sense. Oh fuck that! For a joke. Oh, I forgot that they throw stuff. Mm, we got a little close for comfort there. Oh, they're not gonna have those feral ones that like sprint, are they? Oh god, I don't know if they are. It's gonna be creepy. Nice throw. That's got to be scripted, right? I'm wondering if you can grab them. I know in Boneworks you can sort of grab onto them and actually sort of execute them, which is always fun. <laughs> I don't know how effective that was, Alex. So they've got teleportation system, which is cool. Oh, this is less cool. This. Oh, nope. 
cool. Okay, so video one, definitely March 23rd, not far at all. Um, so yeah, video one, pretty cool. Can't say that I am really expecting much more than that. That was cool. A lot of physics stuff. Um, upgrade station, that's cool. Uh, searching for stuff, really, really cool. Um, yeah, it looks like they're definitely embracing physics and that whole sort of aspect of things drastically. Uh, which, you know, that was what made Half-Life so great was sort of, it was the first real series to, you know, incorporate physics as like a whole sort of gameplay mechanic. So we'll jump on over to the second video. Okay, second video for Half-Life Alex gameplay. This one's a little bit shorter, so let us see what it has in store. Well, we've got to get you out of here and up to the roof. I'm working on it. Okay, cool toy. Oh. Okay, that's a a strange puzzle. I like that it's like three dimensional. That's really, really cool. I'm already confused and I have no idea what she's doing or how she's figuring out how to connect to what, but I'm sure they'll show it to you later. Oh, more hot crabs. I'm really hoping that there isn't a lot of head Has crab stuff. Seen this? Oh wow, look at that. Visually impressive. Oh no, look at him down there. Look out. Oh shit, okay. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, what is that? That's fucking gross. Oh, that's an awesome shotgun. I, I hope there is still plenty of combined combat. Like, I don't want it to feel too much like a horror game. Gotcha. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. At least I got like a sense of humor. It's not too serious, which is which is nice. Hopefully lighten up the sort of dark atmosphere a little bit. Let me guess, shoot the lock. No? Oh, yep, yeah, no, that fucking scared me too, Alex. Don't you worry. I don't get it. What is that thing? Oh, shit. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't I'm be breathing that in. really starting to think I shouldn't be breathing this stuff. <laughs> Agreed. Just mm -hmm. keep moving. Maybe breathe less. Ah, oh, it's so disturbing. I like that there's so much more stuff that they're establishing in lore and sort of stuff like that. They're not just sort of giving what you already know. Like it genuinely feels like another Half-Life game, not just sort of a VR sort of 2.0. Oh. Well, at least they're back. Agreed. I'm definitely like it definitely has that nice sort of um weighty feel that i think boneworks has from what i've seen there's a lot of interactivity and again visually looks really good Well, I'm wondering how long it is. I'm hoping it's like a fully fledged game. I don't want it to be too sure. Okay. There you go. Video number two's done. So that's cool. Uh, puzzle based stuff, which obviously is to be expected. Um, I like that they're using the 3D space, like having to think, put things through doors. But I mean, games have done that for a while, but. I think it probably takes it to a whole new level. Uh, the cool sort of data pad thing. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, more head crabs. 
yeah sort of didn't show probably as much as the last one but hopefully video three will let's find out okay video three now this one is like half as long as the others so hopefully it has something really nice but uh yeah so far so good let's find out what it has as well i don't know why they separated them oh okay so we are getting combined combat it looks like they got the site that they can purchase from the upgrade station which is handy yeah i don't know if i can aim that good in there that's probably more my accuracy <laughs> I'm digging the soundtrack. I don't know whether that's actually like for this trailer or whether that's the actual soundtrack. Dang. Loving it. Loving that you're able to just use the environment like that. That's great. What did she pick up? Ooh, that's a weird looking combine. Oh, gunship. Oh. See, I love that you can like find little hidden stuff like that. I love any game that rewards like ex exploration. That's awesome. Oh, okay, cool. They got physics-based climbing. That's awesome. I love that. What are you looking at? Oh, I love that. That's that's awesome. That's a really cool shotgun. Oh, I got man hacks. I'm digging the soundtrack. That's awesome. I love that they're deploying them. I'm glad it's got... The, obviously, it's got the sort of... Um, oh, that's awesome. Throwing the nades back. Looking at it. <laughs> I'm sure that would be satisfying as all hell. It just feels, you can feel the tension. What is she doing? Oh, shit. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. There you go, wow. So that's a good probably, yeah, about 10 minutes of extra footage that we haven't seen. Um, yeah, it looks great looks um looks like it's going to be extremely satisfying is probably the one word i think of uh a lot of sort of scavenging and looking through things and interacting with the environment which i think if anything gets you immersed in vr or stuff like that that just really you have to be thinking about the world you're in it isn't just sort of like a a different monitor you know you're not just using it as a way to see the game as opposed to being in the game um I think that, yeah, it, it looks like immersion is definitely something they're going for. Um, but, yeah, it looks great. I love the the combine. Combat looks good. Obviously, the head crab stuff is going to be fucking terrifying. And, I yeah, I remember Saints and Sinners, I was having a trouble getting through that. And even after a couple of hours, I was still getting jump scared by, you know, going into abandoned buildings. So I'm sure that I'm still going to be terrified from having to face these guys. But uh, thank you if you've stuck around to the very end. I appreciate it greatly. Um, I haven't done a reaction in a while. But uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And hopefully there will be more in the future. But there will still be other gaming videos. So thank you so much. And please let me know what you think of Half-Life Alex in the comments. Because I am extremely keen to see if you guys are excited or maybe less so. And do you have VR? Do you not have VR? I feel like a lot of people are a little bit bummed that this is VR exclusive. I'm happy for the platform. I want VR to succeed. So, yeah, hopefully it does. Hopefully it does well. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. But it's too late now. I remember you and me. And how careless we